Now this might be the most golf clubs that we have ever seen. This town has been absolutely crazy. A good play to get in sports, Goodwill, and then this thrift store had their own golf. Let us know if you've ever seen a nicer looking Goodwill. I'm excited to see if they've got a golf section like the last thrift store. Mm -hmm. All right, folks, welcome back. Today we are going thrifting for golf clubs in the world's largest golf course retirement community, the Villages. We got everything mapped out. Yeah, it, it looks be like there's two thrift stores directly in the Villages and then a lot around, and there's a Play It Again Sports in the same parking lot as a Goodwill. We're definitely going to uh, start there. There's a Play It Again Sports <laughs> in the parking lot of a Goodwill, yeah. so we'll start there, but always looking for golf clubs or anything else cool that we can find that we could use ourselves, sell to you guys for super cheap, or just have fun hitting at the driving range and then donate to a thrift store at the end, but never know what you're going to find, so let's go find it. Also, we just passed 80,000 subscribers, so thank you guys for yes. that. We'll have a big uh, special giveaway at uh, the... Uh, probably next week. Yeah, probably uh, next week, but uh, let's see what we can find. I think we're gonna start the Play It Again Sports. That place should be, Yeah. it should be loaded. We'll uh, hopefully find some good stuff, but let's see what we can find at the Play It Again Sports first. Oh, check this out. This might be the most golf clubs that we have ever seen in a Play It Again Sports. Absolutely crazy. I think this one, maybe the one in Ocala has more. Yeah, but it's this pretty is, neck and neck. Yeah, but I think this one might actually have more. Look at all those That's iron sets like over there. Focused on the bags on top. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> they got all of them uh, assorted by like the irons. This is a four iron, five iron. This is gonna be a while. This is gonna get yes. overwhelming. We'll just show you the uh, good stuff. We've got a set of Titleist AP1s over here. We've got a price tag on this guy. What are you going for? $2.99, I think. Mizuno MP15s and a Mizuno MPT5 wedge going on in the set. $379. That Cobra S3 You set? always pick up the Cobra I ones. <laughs> <laughs> I always pass over them by accident. $140. That's not bad for the Cobra uh -uh. S3s. Callaway Razor Hawk 5 wood. Big Just Bertha. Just 4 woods. Just 4 woods. <laughs> That's not something you see often. Yeah, you don't really see 4 woods very often. They got an entire bag stuffed full of them. Oh, they already got a, a Cobra Rad Speed in here. Oh, wow. And there's a Hanma. Oh, <laughs> how much is that going for? Cobra Red Speed Hybrid, two twenty nine. Tailormade M six three wood for the ladies, hundred and ninety nine. Hoping this F nine Cobra is ladies. That would be a find. Yeah. Fujikura Atmos shaft. Eh, it's not seventy five oh, grams. Yeah. Nice. Can I get it? <laughs> no, <don't. laughs> one day we'll find one. What do we got? One hundred and fifty dollars. That's actually a pretty good deal mm -hmm. on that. Those have uh, maintained their uh, value really good. But we'll let you know if we end up getting anything. We're just going through and uh, pretty getting much showing you everything. Getting yeah, no, overwhelmed. <laughs> I'm sure this is really interesting so far, but we'll let you know if we end up getting anything. What's the best you can do on these three? Um, yeah, I mean, it just depends on how long we've been here, but I'm sure that we could work something out. Yeah. That should be 38.49. Sounds good. All right, after all of that, that was pretty intense. I was like digging through like a thousand clubs, but we ended up getting three. We got a Ping Karsten six iron and a Dell wedge, and Ashley found herself an Adam's Idea five yeah. hybrid. Excited to try that one out. Yeah, and I think it total was $35. Yeah, I think it would have been around 55 Yeah, he gave us a uh, discount. He's actually a subscriber. He was super That's nice. Cool. He uh, recognized us when he came in, told yeah. us we could film and everything, but if you're ever in Leesburg, check out the uh, Play It Again yeah. Sports. Lots of clubs. Yeah, but I think we're going to meet you across the street at the Goodwill, like we said. Also, they apparently used to be the uh, played against sports across the street and then they moved across over here because they had so many golf yeah, clubs they, they couldn't fit room. them in there but uh, let's go see if the uh, goodwill is just as loaded all right let's check out the golf section not that many clubs in here we got a bunch of junior clubs this old school nike bag which is missing the strap but that thing is pretty cool oh, it's actually kind of heavy this is a super old one but it's got the uh, old school nike uh, logo on there how much is that going for 20 bucks oh we got a tour striker a uh, training aid 3.99 We'll uh, pick that up. Those are always fun to hit. Oh, yeah. And Ashley found this, a uh, Bay Hill Turvis. That is super cool. Underneath, it still has the Bay Hill sticker. I oh, it much... still has the uh, yeah, sticker on it? Yeah, as soon as you pay for it, we'll show you how much it actually was. Yeah, those was. things are like 30 or $40, uh -huh. right? Pretty sweet find. Also, there's a... Uh, there's a uh, Orlando Magic jersey over there that I want to check out too. <laughs> Gonna go check out that jersey, but check this out. In the shoe section, they have tons of golf shoes. They got yeah. some foot joys, and there's like 15 pairs of these ASIC shoes. They're actually kind of hard to get over here in the United States. There's one here, oh, there's some foot joys on the other side, and then there's like oh, yeah. six over here too. Got one, two, none of them have the insoles, and they're $15 a piece and not my size, but I don't think I've ever seen the uh, yeah. Asics golf shoes. Those are the older ones. They've come out with uh, ones recently that kind of look like the sneakers and everything. Mm -hmm. They've got the boa strap and everything, but uh, haven't seen those before. Now we've got 
Lots of them. Lots of them. Seven in this Goodwill. Let's go take a look at that uh, Orlando Magic jersey. Yeah, I think it's an Evan Fournier jersey. He actually just uh, got traded to the uh, Knicks with Kemba Walker, or he got signed. I forget if he got traded or not. But uh, we got a uh, FC Bayern Munich shirt and a uh, Andrew Luck jersey. And Ashley also found this uh, Indiana t-shirt. Yeah, it's a champion. Champion one. Pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. This place has had some weird stuff. Yeah, good We're gonna end up stuff. picking up the uh, uh, Tour Striker, the Bay Hill Tervis, and the IU shirt. Pretty good. If you fun. guys need a bunch of uh, Asics golf shoes in size eight and a half with no insoles, there you go. They've got them. Cool. We just came from one of the biggest play against sports that we've ever been to in terms of the golf section, yeah. and now this might be one of the bigger thrift stores that we've ever been to. And they've got a dedicated section to the uh, golf clubs over here. Let's take a look at what they got. Got a black magic wedge. Never seen that. Oh, it's like a full set of the uh, Adams idea. Five, six, seven, eight, nine pitching wedge. Yeah, I think it's got probably. woods too. Oh, it's got a yeah, four iron hybrid too. I wonder <laughs> if they're selling it as a set. Yeah. 50 bucks, that's actually a really good. Oh, look at that. Ashley was up, uh, pointed that out. Got a the John box Daly. The alone is cool. <laughs> what is it? It's a swing trainer? Oh, I think it's like a classy swing magic. Oh, really? Yeah. What if it's John Daly, then it's better. It is, it's true. Let's see how much that is. That is, that's <laughs> like, uh, yeah, just cool to have. What else do we got? We got a Cali Big Bertha travel bag. Got a price down here going for $45. Nancy Lopez bag. Oh, look at this. It's like a Callaway Lexus bag. That is pretty cool. Uh -huh. You can feel that the rain cover is still in there. We'll check out how much that is. But if it's under 20 bucks, we'll definitely pick that up. Warbird X, I think is the uh, model number of the uh, bag. Let's see if they got any clubs down here for us. Got a Lynx driver, some hippos. I'm gonna pick up those uh, Adams too. That's a pretty good deal on them. Uh -huh. What is that? Focus. Focus. So you need we to do all we need is the uh, the John Daly tutor and the focus putter. <laughs> going on tour. <laughs> yeah, we're going on the tour, straight to the tour. <laughs> all right, we ended up picking up two things at that gigantic thrift store. I think we're still in Leesburg. Yeah, so I this, think so. yeah, this town has been absolutely crazy. A good play it against sports, Goodwill, and then this thrift store had their own golf section. But let's take a look at what we got. We got the tutor by Wilson yeah. John Daly thing I'm going super on here. Excited. And it's the fact that it's still in the box. Yeah, it still has the box. We saw one listed on eBay going yeah. for ninety dollars that didn't VHS, have the box. Like the instructional video. Yeah. Yeah, the instructional in video is still in there in the plastic. That thing is super cool. That's just going in the collection. Uh -huh. But uh, this over here is definitely a good deal. We got the Adams iron set. Those usually go for about 80 or $90. Came with the bag and then two uh, Callaway woods, but the find in there, and I'm glad that we looked this yeah. up. I had never seen one before. This black magic wedge, which kind of looks like a uh, wedge wood, goes for 70 bucks. There's three that sold for 70 on uh, eBay, which is kind of crazy. Yeah. We'll probably end up uh, donating the uh, Callaway woods back and the bag back, but definitely a good find on the Adams, the Wilson, and that wedge I've never seen before and yeah. ended up being over $70. So definitely, if this has been a fun day, yes, we'll meet you at the uh, next spot. All right, about 15 miles north of one of the larger thrift stores that we have ever seen. We are in Lady Lake, Florida, and this might be one of the nicest looking Goodwills. Yeah, it we looks like one of the boutique ones. Yeah. The prices are going to be higher. I don't know. We'll uh, definitely find out, but let us know if you've ever seen a nicer looking Goodwill. <laughs> Excited to see if they've got a golf section like the last thrift store. Mm -hmm. All right, one of the nicest Goodwills that we have ever seen from the outside does in fact have a golf section. We got a uh, Ping Karsten 3 5 wood right here going for $4. Bazooka J Max. Oh, nice. Bazooka J Max Ironwood, 30 degrees, mm -hmm. 6 iron. It's got yeah. a pretty good grip on there going for $2.99. So maybe all the uh, prices are different. There's yeah. like some uh, replacement tennis grips on some <laughs> clubs down here. It's kind of funny. There's a bunch of those. Might be a full yeah. set or whatever it is. Oh, nice. Those are the uh, Golfsmith uh, Tour Cavity Forge. Yeah. Those are one of the uh, softer uh, forgings. It was one of like Golfsmith's component brands. Like they had Snake Eyes and Golfsmith and everything. Mm -hmm. Those were like, seen yeah, that one is definitely days. seen better days. Although, it's got a good grip, grip on it though. Okay, but... I think all the other ones with those, yeah, all the oh no, that's a uh, Cleveland 485. Oh, no, it's also seen uh, better days, and he's got one of the replacement grips on there. But I think it's a full set of those uh, Golfsmith Tour Cavity yeah, Forge. Yeah, I, I was grabbing. Yeah, <laughs> but those ones all have like the replacement grips on there, so probably not worth it at four dollars yeah, a piece. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that Nikon bag behind you is pretty good. Not that anybody cares, but it's I think we're, <laughs> we think we're gonna get the uh, Bazooka J Max. Oh, check this out. I think this is like a uh, glow in the dark putting. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't glow in the dark. Something. It's just oh. neon. We got new in the box. Uh, Titleist Velocity Golf <laughs> Balls. $1.99. Putting cup. It's like a little gopher, like cat. Oh, it's like a gopher putting. Out. That's cool. <laughs> That's yeah. cool. How's it going? No. Oh. You know, I can tell a golfer who's played in Chernobyl. <laughs> no. Those balls glow in the dark. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> we got a uh, Caddyshack uh, gopher putting thing over there. But I think we're going to pick up the uh, Titleist balls and the Bazooka J Max. Yeah, cool. <laughs> cool. 
<laughs> have a good one. All right, folks, a crazy day of thrifting. That's that played, fun. Yeah, that Play It Again Sports was absolutely loaded. We got some good stuff at the uh, thrift stores. The mm -hmm. Goodwills were like some of the nicest Goodwills that we have oh, ever yeah. seen. But what was your favorite find of the day? Oh, definitely the Adams Hybrid. Yeah, that, that you, so well. Yeah, she absolutely crushed that. And then I tried a uh, one swing with the John Daly thing and it broke on my takeaway, so I need to work on that. But I did end up hitting a uh, full shot with it. Yeah. But that thing is just super cool. I've never seen one of those before. Especially with like the packaging. Still yeah, included. it was like basically brand new in the packaging. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I hit it. Well, I, well, I think yeah. it's someone else had, but. <laughs> someone else definitely had hit it. I, I don't know if I could just let I it just sit there for 30 years and not hit it. hit it once and didn't like it and put it back in the box. Yeah, they're like, my swing's perfect, it broke. <laughs> this thing is broken. I don't need your tutor. But I uh, hope you guys did like this video. My favorite find of the day was that Adele wedge and the uh, Wilson uh, John Daly thing, mm -hmm. obviously. But that Adele wedge, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. But they're like super high end and they're really good uh, like components and like the head and all of the custom grinds and everything yeah. are kind of cool. It felt really nice when yeah. I was getting it. <laughs> I hit some weird flop shots, almost uh, took Ashley out. Oh, yes. that, not with that wedge. I t almost took you out with the uh, Black Widow wedge. Yeah, I was looking down at the camera and yeah, I should have been looking up. Almost yeah. got me. <laughs> we'll have a different camera placement uh, next time. But uh, I don't think that thing is meant for the uh, sand. That's what I thought it was for. I think yeah. it's just like basically a hybrid because you literally can't open the face. I had it all the way open. It was still just like shooting out little rockets. But it was terrifying. It was terrifying. But let us know if you guys like this video. Maybe we'll uh, head over there. Oh, I forgot to say the, the two thrift stores that were actually in the villages we got to a little bit too late mm -hmm. uh, they were already closed so let us know if you want us to go back out there maybe in like a week or two and uh, do a little bit more or yeah. look to see if there's like pawn shops or anything like that out there but uh, definitely a lot of fun hope you guys did like this video if you did hit the like button and subscribe and hey, we'll see, you see you next time guys thanks for watching